Look at him. Oh, what's this? Oh, he's too strong. Sick. You see his hand? Welcome back to another Hunter Hunter video. Today we have Season 1, Episode 8. So I'm finally moving on with Hunter Hunter now and I'm planning to make it a much more regular thing on the channel now that Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood is finished. I was just absolutely obsessed with that show and I just needed to binge through it, just get it all done because I was having so much fun with it. But now I'm ready to put a lot more focus into Hunter Hunter. And I really loved where we left off. We just found out some interesting things about Killua, a bit about his past, what he can do, and it seems like he's murdered two of the guys that are on the ship with them. It's really interesting. It's really given me a lot to think about in terms of like who Killua really is or what he might actually be. But we're still moving on with the Hunter exams. It seems like we're about halfway through, but I'm going to get right into the episode now. Can't wait to get back into the show. Hunter Hunter Season 1, Episode 8. Decision by majority rule? Question mark. Okay. wonder what that means. The boy's sleeping. I love how... They gave him extra time to sleep at the end of last episode. Ooh, I love that. <laughs> this guy kills me. Trick Tower. Okay. <laughs> okay. You have... How many days is that? Three days? Usually you have to climb up something, but we're going down this time. Interesting. <laughs> Who's watching? Is this the examiner for this one? Maybe? Ooh. Okay, so this must be inside the tower, all these cameras. Excellent. This pleases me. Are we not just going to jump down or what? <laughs> Is he gonna try? He's gonna fall down, obviously. There's gonna be some trap on the outside. But he seems like a great climber. Yeah, something's gonna come out and hit him for sure. Sounds like a bird. Like something flapping its wings almost. I was wrong. What is that? Well, he's gone. Dude, what are those things? They're like babies with wings. I hate it. I love the creativity, but I hate it. So they're, so they're forcing them to go inside, I guess. I don't know how they're going to get inside, though. He's going to... Okay, there's going to be some entrance. Okay. Right. How have they done that without anyone seeing, though? Okay. It's all sneaky like. Ah, I see. They just drop down. So there's a lot. So maybe you take a certain one, there'll be a trap. Oh, does it lock after you use it? Interesting. Interesting. Right, so only one of them can go through this door, and there's five doors there. Them, they all have to descend a different way, perhaps? Okay, I like this. That's how all the contestants are sneaking in, all subtle, like it happens so quickly. <laughs> Leorio, I think, is my favorite, but he cracks me up. Oh! Good, we're all together then. And they gave them 72 hours for this? Maybe we'll spend a couple episodes on this, that'll be fun. I, I like this whole sort of vibe. Okay, majority rule, that's the episode title, but there's only four of them. Interesting, because there was five doors. Ah, oh, I see, okay. Maybe someone else will drop in. Mm, that would suck. Okay, 
they're listening in. Lippo. Okay. So they have to wait for a fifth person. So that's why the number five is important for this, his majority. I feel like I know who the fifth person's gonna be. I've forgotten his name though. Atonpo, maybe? Yep. Only a fool. Here we go. Someone's looking. <laughs> Who that is? Come on, be someone cool. Be someone cool. I, I know. I knew it. It's him, isn't it? Oh, of course it was. I've forgotten his name, but of course it was going to be the. Yeah, it is Tonpa. I got that right. Good. It was the line the announcer said, the warden, one person's selfishness. Right? And I'm just. It's going to be Tonpa. It just makes too much sense. Okay. Oh, they do it on their watch. That's cool. Who said no? For what reason, man? Talk to him, Le hey, talk to him, Leorio. He's trying to mess with the rookies, man. <laughs> I respect Leorio here, but at the same time, this isn't going to help Tonfa, like, not be an idiot. Yeah, at the end of the day, there's four of them against one. <laughs> Bro, I love Leorio. Interesting. Did you have so how much information do we get? Are there just two hallways? Okay, so it's purely just intuition at this point. <laughs> what? It's interesting. So it seems like there's no consequence. They would have that would have no reason to assume there's a consequence for any of these choices here. So I don't think it matters too much. But I would like them to start talking about their choices before they make them, right? Hey, he's not wrong. But like, how deeply are we thinking about this, you know? I said they have nothing to go on, but perhaps that is the only thing they have to go on. That people usually go left, so they should go right. That's interesting. Seems like there's a, a pillar that extends, a bridge or something. Why is that guy blue? So who are these guys? Are they being kept here specifically for this reason? What are we dealing with here? Okay. Look at this guy. Yeah, prisoners. Okay. There's five of them. Yeah. So they need to win at least three times, right? Yeah. This is a really cool concept. In the middle of this massive tower with all these games going on, this I love this stuff. Oh. Okay, they've got some pretty good motivation then. Bendo? Bendo? Hold on, how many? What did that say? 200, well, 199 year sentence. Wow, okay, so he needs to. He needs to do a lot of work if he wants to get that reduced enough. Hello? Tonpa Redemption Arc? 
Maybe he's like big braining this. I mean, look, if you're Tonpa in this situation and you know these four are, are much stronger than you, if you still want to move on, you need to make sure you're helping these guys, right? So he, he's doing a good thing here, but it's, I guess, it's just for him, right? He's only thinking about himself. But it works out for everyone else in this situation. I hope they throw him off. <laughs> but I guess they need him th to move on. Eh, that's not ideal. What about an arm wrestle? <laughs> Tompa must have something up his sleeve. Because Tompa has to go on the offensive, right? Because these guys are just trying to buy time. Or maybe this guy doesn't care, I don't know. He's got too long of a sentence, maybe he doesn't care. Hello? Is this a real thing? Or is this just a, a representation of something? Look at Tonpa. Is this real? <laughs> I'm not shocked in the slightest. He had me going for a second. He's a bitch, man. Excuse me, but he is. <laughs> Maybe he's fooling him. I'm giving him too much credit, yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, at least we got that out of the way, though. Like he said, rather he do this now than, than at the end, if it's too all, you know? But now there was no point in him going first, if he was going to do this anyway. Yeah. But th that would leave him with still like 130-ish years, man. Get it. Let's go, Leorio. Knock him out. Messing with the rookies, man. We knew this about him. I'm g I was giving him way too much credit throughout a lot of that. He literally just wants to mess with the rookies. That, that is literally his only agenda. I, I'm gonna pause it. It's really funny that I spent a good portion of that talking about, you know, if Tonpa actually wants to go on, you know, he, he has a good mindset about this. He doesn't want to go on, he doesn't care. He, he's just doing this to, to mess with him. So, like I said, I was giving him way too much credit. He's just an asshole. Which basically means the four of them really need to work as a team. These are the worst kinds of people, man. Now let him go, Karapika. <clears throat> true, true. This is playing right into their card. They, they, they're in no rush, these guys. Got it out the way quickly. <laughs> yeah, he would have got smoked. Wasn't his intention, but it works out. There's just no way. Right, and they only get to go once, so they got that guy out of the way. Hello, who are you? Sedoka, 149 yet serial bombings. Jesus. Gone. Let's go. Yeah, don't 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 judge based on looks. Look at look at you guys. <laughs> the only one who looks menacing here is Killua, and I think that's purely because he has his white hair. This is good pacing. Thirty-nine remain. Well, only thirty-nine. Good.
Good. So I said this a lot throughout the episode, but I really enjoy these kinds of concepts. This is easily my favorite exam. It's not even close. Just having this massive mountain, this tower that they have to climb down. And as soon as they said they're given three days to do it, it's like, okay, there's going to be some situations going on. So they can't climb down because of those insane flying things. I don't even know if they gave a name for them, but they were nuts. So they have to go down. And we saw from that room with all the cameras in it that there seems to be so many rooms, all of these traps potentially, and challenges like this. But this is absolutely my kind of vibe. You know, it gives me like Maze Runner, like Hunger Games sort of things, just things that I personally really enjoy. And it seems like it's going to take a few episodes to get through this as well, which I am also really happy about. But nothing really too crazy to unpack from this episode. Uh, just Tonpa existing, really, and just continuing to, to be an idiot, pretty much. But a really cool concept, this whole majority situation. Like the warden said, it could just take one person being extremely selfish to sabotage a lot of this. Say for whatever reason, you know, uh, Gon, Killua, Kurapika, and Leorio, you know, had like a, a tie, like a... Two of them want to do one thing, two of them want to do another. Tonpa can come in and just be an asshole and just potentially ruin everything. And I just knew it was going to be Tonpa as the fifth person. As soon as it was like, right, we need one more person, I'm like, it's going to be Tonpa, right? Especially after the warden said, look, one person being selfish, I'm like, it's just going to be Tonpa. And that's all he's doing. Immediately, the first door he's pressed, no. And he just tries to play it off. He tries to play it off until at the end of this, when he does say to Leo, no, look, this is just what I want to do. I have no desire to be a hunter. I'm just trying to get fun out of screwing with everyone, especially the rookies. And I have found myself starting to get into the mindset of really trying to look past, you know, the obvious when I'm watching this show. And a big part of that is like, every time I look at Kurapika and Kurapika is always figuring these things out. I'm like, Kurapika is thinking about something here. So I probably should be as well. Like even that choice of going left or right. I, and immediately I've just said, oh, look, you have no information here. Here. there's just two corridors they look exactly the same it really does not matter which way you choose to go right you have no information that's, and that's just not true as the characters point out like Kurapika is like some research says when faced in this situation most people decide to go left right therefore we should go right because the examiners are like okay most people will go left we'll make left harder but they chose to go right so I was thinking like right there's absolutely no information whatsoever which just wasn't the case. There was some information. So even something so small like that could be the difference between passing the hunter exams or not. And I really like that because it really engages me and makes me think. The story itself hasn't gotten super deep yet. We have had a few things sprinkled in here and there about like Kurapika's clan, Leodio's backstory, and other things like that, which is really cool. But right now it's all just about the exams and kind of setting up the characters, how they like to fight, how they like to think, which I'm still really enjoying it just means there's not a massive amount to delve into in these discussions just yet but i'm sure in a hundred episode plus series like this we will get to that point and I find it interesting, and I was thinking about this a lot during the episode, that they don't really draw attention to the fact that Killua seemingly killed those two people on the airship in the last episode. Which I'm pretty damn sure he killed them. Like, it looked pretty graphic to me. But perhaps that's just part of the hunter exams, you know? That, that stuff just happens. Even if they're not specifically in an exam, they're just being transported to the next one, you know? Things can happen. But I just found it crazy that, that they haven't really drawn attention to that, that we're just missing two people once we get, you know, to the top of uh, Trick Tower here. But we'll see. Like I said, maybe the whole point of that was just to kind of set a certain tone about Killua going forward. But at the end of the day, Tonpa doing what he did has kind of worked out because it's gotten that bald guy. I've forgotten his name. I imagine we won't be seeing him again after this. But he's out of the way. He can't fight again. That's the one thing I did forget. I was like, all right, so Tonpa is just going to run in and then he's just going to immediately give up because he's only thinking about himself. He's trying to sabotage the group. It is what it is. But at the end of the day, at least that guy that he was fighting can't fight anymore. And now we have Gon getting ready to take the second round against this other guy who's looking less intimidating. But like I was saying, don't judge a book by its cover. So I'm really excited for that. I'm sure we'll get more insight into how Gon can fight. Maybe he's picked up on some things from last episode, which would be really cool. I'd love to see Killua in action again. And even Kurapika and Leorio. Like, we've only seen them fight briefly in some of these encounters with monsters during the exams, but I'd really love to see more about what they can actually do and how they actually think during these fights. That's what I'm really excited to see. But I do enjoy the slow build-up because the anticipation just builds, and then when these cool things do happen, they have a lot of meaning to it. So I'm really excited for all that. But that's going to do it for this one. Still just really enjoying this whole Hunter exam portion of the show. I have no idea how long it's going to last, so I'm just going to continue enjoying it as it's going on. So thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this. And as always, please feel free to continue leaving your comments and feedback down below. You know, I always appreciate it. And we'll see you on the next episode of Hunter Hunter.